Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I am going to be trying on two Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks on for you and these are lipsticks that I got fairly recently and they are very Victoria and super Cindy. Because this is my first time buying Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks I made sure to go for colours that I felt would suit my skin tone. I didn't want to be too daring, I wanted to play it safe. So these colours are neutral muted shades I would say. So I'm not going to do any much talking, I'm just going to get straight into it. So let's just get started, yeah. So first up I'm going to be trying on Very Victoria and I consider Very Victoria to be more of a nude shade of lipstick for me. I think it comes on as nude on my complexion. I am just going to very quickly swatch it on the back of my hand and then try it on for you guys. And as with most lipsticks, I tend to use my MAC Chestnut Lip Liner, my go-to lip liner for nearly all lipsticks. So I'm going to first line my lips with MAC Chestnut Lip Liner and then apply Very Victoria on. So let's get started. But first up, a quick hand swatch for you so you can see what it looks like on my skin. This is Very Victoria on there. It's not looking so nudey, I would say. It's looking like it has a bit of a pink undertone. But for some reason, I thought it looked like a nude lipstick on me. Well, let's just put it on and then you can, we can all decide whether it really is a nude tone or more of a really muted pink shade of lipstick. So yes, this is it, very Victoria. And let's get started. Just bear with me if I'm not looking into the lens. That's because I've got a mirror in front of me that I'm going to use to help me apply my lipstick on. So here goes. <laughs> very Victoria on the lips and it is a matte finish lipstick and I think it looks pretty it goes pretty well with my MAC chestnut lip liner um, I tend to not wear any lipstick without a lip liner that's for sure and I think this goes pretty pretty well with it so yes this is very Victoria and on application it doesn't quite appear as matte um, looking I would say but over time and as the you know as the hours goes by it does mattify as I like to as I like to call it and um, yeah so this is very Victoria and um, I consider it to be like a nude shade on my skin but I feel like with someone with a lighter complexion it probably would look a lot brighter so a little bit with a pink undertone I would say but yeah, so this is Very Victoria, the first of my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks to try on for you. So on to the next one. The next Charlotte Tilbury lipstick that I'm going to be trying on for you guys is Super Cindy and I am absolutely loving Super Cindy. I've been wearing it day in day out non-stop ever since I got my hands on it. If I have a favour between Very Victoria and Super Cindy, for sure, it is Super Cindy. Just like Very Victoria, I am going to line my lips with my chestnut lip liner and then wear this on for you. But first up, I'm just going to do a really quick, you know, hand swatch so you guys can see what Super Cindy looks like against my skin, yeah. So there's a quick hand swatch of Super Cindy and on the website, they refer to Super Cindy as being a taupey nude. I don't know, I don't really think so, not for me anyway, so it doesn't look like a taupey nude on my skin. I, I feel as though it's got a little bit of a rosy pink <laughs> um, undertone to it, yeah. It, it, it most definitely is not nude on me, you'll see in a moment. But yeah, so this is Super Cindy uh, swatched on the back of my hand, let's get it on for you.
Cindy on the lips and I think the name was inspired by Cindy Crawford. It is part of the Hot Lips collection which have all been named after inspirational women in the industry per se. So Vera Victoria was inspired, well the name was inspired by Victoria Beckham and Super Cindy the name was inspired by Cindy Crawford as well and I am absolutely loving this shade it is my favorite lipstick at the moment I've been wearing it on stop since I got my hands on it and I hope you can see why too because it's just such a lovely muted shade for everyday wear with the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks I will say you do have to top up during the day and it does mattify a lot more as the hours go by. I find the lipstick formulation to be a little bit drying on the lips, not going to lie, just going to be honest. It looks good but it does dry up a little bit more than some lipsticks but I still love it. If you make sure you moisturise your lips with some lip balm, I use EOS and before applying it on it, you know, it may help to counter effect the drying aspect of it. But all in all it's a lovely lipstick and I love wearing it. So this is it, I just want to keep it short and sweet for you guys. Let me know your thoughts are. Um, do you prefer Very Victoria or do you prefer Super Cindy? I quite like Super Cindy the best. But these are the two lipsticks that I decided to try from the Charlotte Tilbury collection. I'm looking to grab a few more as time goes on and when that happens I will make sure to make a video and share it with you so you guys can see what it looks like on. But for now this is it from me. I hope you enjoyed watching this really quick video. Any questions or anything leave them below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. Bye!